हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर कार्तिक मंचाला लेट अस डिस्कस टू ऑफन कंफ्यूज्ड फ्रैक्चर्स ऑफ द फोराम द मोंटेजिया एंड द गलियाजी फ्रैक्चर्स इफ यू लुक एट द एक्सरे गिवन ओवर हियर दिस इज द एंटीरो पोस्टीरियर व्यू एंड दिस इज द लैटरल व्यू ऑफ द फोराम यू कैन सी द अल्ना द रेडियस and the distal end of the humerus if you carefully observe in both anterior posterior and the lateral view you can easily appreciate this fracture of the proximal third of the ulna and in the lateral view one another important thing you can see here is the dislocation of this head of the radius from the radio capitular joint the articulation of the radius with the humerus is called as radio capitular joint okay so this combination of the proximal third ulna fracture plus dislocation of the radial head is called as montegia fracture okay so depending upon the direction in which this radial head dislocates it is classified into four types and this classification is given by bado bado classification if the head of the radius goes anteriorly it is called as type 1 if it goes posteriorly it is type 2 if it goes laterally type 3 and if along with the fracture of the proximal ulna there is a fracture of the proximal radius also for example there is a fracture over here now this combination comes into type 4 okay fracture of the ulna plus fracture of the radius along with the dislocation of radial head comes under type 4 okay so this is montegia fracture now let's have a look at this x ray you can see the fracture of this bone that is the radius in the ap view and here in the lateral view you can see the distal end of the ulna is popping up dorsally that means there is a disruption of this joint which is called as distal radio ulnar joint okay so this combination of radius distal third fracture with the disruption of the distal radio ulnar joint that is the distal ulna is dislocated is called as galiazi fracture Now this often requires surgical intervention so this is called as this is called as fracture of necessity fracture of necessity okay now how do you remember this now there is a mnemonic which is widely used this is called as grimus g r i m u s Now this is to remember the fractured bone. So G for Galiazi, in which the radius, that is the inferior part of the radius, is fractured. Now M for Montegia, in which the ulna, that is the superior part of the ulna, is fractured. Okay, Grimus is the mnemonic. I hope you do not confuse it with again. And thank you.